Hey guys, I hope everyone watching this video is, you know, is in the best of health. Okay, it's okay and in the best of health. Best of health, but the my brain's just not working. It's kind of like you know, 3 a.m. again, and I'm not awake because I want to. I'm awake because of the stress that I feel from trying to fix my computer. You know, everyday shit. And I just thought to myself, like at this time, at this moment in life, like who can I really call on? Who do I talk to? Who can I? really call my friend like i mean yeah i have this guy and I have that guy and maybe this guy as well if i talk to them again but like who do i have who, who am i who do i talk to no one i have no friends like, i don't have any like a, a confidant you know maybe I, I do have friends per se but not like a confidant someone i can just seriously just express myself to Cause anytime I would try to express myself to the guys that, you know, do the Instagramification activities, yeah, bro, it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. It's like, oh no, anyway, oh no, anyway. It's the same fucking dumb bullshit memes. Just again and again and again. I'm just, I'm tired. So many times in my mind, I just resolve not to talk to these people. And some of these people, I just don't talk to at all as well. There's also that. Just no more. It's just it's such an interesting experience. People that I would consider my friends, you know, the people I grew up with, and it just it just evaporates. And a lot, uh, not even a lot of young men, a lot of men feel this way as well. I keep seeing it, like thirty year old, twenty five year old, twenty seven year old. I have no friends. I have no girlfriend. Never been in a serious relationship. Yeah, it, it'd be like that. It really does, it do be like that. Sorry about that, I just, I, I hopped on a game I used to play when I was a kid. Called Soul Burst 2, a lot's changed. But, I don't want to go back. I don't want to relive those memories, I don't want to relive all that time I spent on it. I wish I'd spend that time doing something else like business or entrepreneurship. Something, you know, productive that would have helped me in the future. I'll be much better off and much happier in the modern day. But instead I wanted to use that time to fuck around and be an idiot. So I guess after all this time, your boy pays the price. Nothing big. Just a little just a little hiccup in the road. You know, I think to myself about this often. Like, what if I just never touched Roblox? I never touched Minecraft. I never touched Apex Legends. I never touched any of these dumb fucking the piece of shit games. What would I be doing? Where would I be? How much more successful would I be? How much more accomplished would I be? How much more happy would I be? You know, they say ignorance is bliss. Bro, this is a classic example of ignorance is bliss. The more ignorant I am of these dumb fucking virtual escapes, the more happy I am in real life. I'm tired of this shit. I pushed everyone away. And what do I have to show for it? Money? Even then, it's not even that much. It should be more. Like, it's just, it's pain all around the board, guys. It's pain all around the board. I don't want to tell you. I, I really, I really don't. I, even if I do become a millionaire, I'll still be alone. And it's like, I want to have millionaire friends. And I, I don't know. I think I'll struggle with that, personally, because it'll be fine it'll be holly jolly you know holly holly jolly jolly i don't know what to say it'll be happy it'll be it'll be a good experience definitely but like at a deeper level would i even resonate with these people and that's a quite that's a weird question because at a deeper level i look at the like a deeper level of my friends at the moment like you know i can just picture all of them, all in my head you know how like in in avatar like you know ang the main character, he reaches like some awakening, and <laughs> and then he can see all the like ancestors, the previous, you know, airbenders, the previous. I don't know what the yin and yang horrors. I didn't finish watching the show. I didn't really find it that interesting. My friend recommended it to me. I pretended to to like it because I wanted his approval, but I didn't like it. It was, in my opinion, it was kind of dog shit. I probably, I'll still try to give it a watch. Nah, I won't, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't, want, I don't do that dumb shit. Uh, 
you know, I, I look at all my friends from secondary, from primary school, maybe my college friends as well. I look at every single one on every single like step of the way of, the, of my of my journal, my my own personal journey, not journal. I apologize. And I just think to myself, like, are none of these people my friends? Do you think this way as well? Like, just none of these people. I, I don't want to resonate with any of these people. None of them. Zero. All the communication I get is just self improvement, Sigma. You, you know, you got this. What the fuck are you doing, bitch? Like, that type of shit. And yeah, bro, it's fucking great, but like, I'm a breaking point, bro. I believe I'm slowly reaching it. I can work, 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 and then what? I become a millionaire. I can do whatever I want. See my grandparents. Chill around. Maybe, you know. Just get married and settle down. What's the point? What's the trajectory? What's the reasoning? What's the what's the whole purpose? What's the what's the whole what's the whole motive? I ask people that seemingly know like they have something going on. Ask them a simple question. So what what do you what do you see yourself doing in like you know five to ten years? Oh, I don't know. Uh, mm, I'm not sure. You know what do you what do you think? Bitch, I was unsure. I was unsure in the first place. That's why I asked you. Yeah. Do I hate individuals like this? No, of course not. Am I disappointed? Of course. Where am I going with this? <sighs> Pardon me. I apologize. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever shake off this feeling, which is a big, a big worry of mine. The feeling of not belonging, the feeling of being alone and isolated. And, I, and then, a lot of young men and women feel this way. Fuck it, bro. This is how you are, right? No, I, I think there has to be like another side of the rainbow. A side that's brighter. There's a side where the grass is greener. Where you just you're just constantly around the people that you love, and you're always around these people, and it's great. It's wonderful. You feel so happy and fulfilled. There has to be a side like this. The problem is, where is that side? Why do I keep instinctually opening Roblox? I'm 18 years old. I've been playing Roblox for the the better half of eight years since I was 10 years old. Nearly a decade of Roblox. Like, what's the point? Let's get back to work. I need to, I need to edit more. I need to do this. I need to do that. Fuck. I'd like. That's why I like 27 gigabytes free. No, I must have had less. I was like 100 something gigabytes on this computer. But I've barely taken any space. I think it's on the. I think it was on the thing. What is the point, ladies and gentlemen? I don't understand. Like, what's, what's the point? Photoshop, media encoder. Oh, I don't know the I'm, I don't know the password, man. I can't uninstall anything, bro. Uh that one sucks. Can't do anything. Yeah. I don't know, this is a shit video. Um I'll try to revisit it, but I don't think I will. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, I'm continuing this video after God knows how long. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean it to be this way. It shouldn't have been this way, but 
kind of was all over the place in that video and I couldn't really focus on the task at hand, which is effectively just talking about the topic of the video, which is I pushed everyone away. And if, if, if I was in a situation where I could go back in time and <clears throat> be 15 again, 14 again, would I do it again? Yes, I would. Completely and utterly. Straight away. I would push everyone away again and I would only seek to find people within my school and within my um, local area. Maybe, maybe it's teachers. Maybe I don't know who it is. Potentially, but I'll be looking purely exclusively for people that have my similar type of mindset and a big worry of mine from what I said so far in the video is that, you know, I might be lonely for a while and Mike Thurston was lonely for a while, you know, any entrepreneur who was successful was lonely for a while, unless it's like Andrew Tate or, or, or something because he, like, he has a brother. For the most part, loneliness is like, it is a given. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna feel lonely. I bet he does, or he also feels lonely at times as well, but because even though he has a brother, like, that, this is just the nature of being a man. I think it's the nature of being a human being because, you know, like, I, I bring up the Beyonce argument all the time as well. Like, imagine how lonely Beyonce felt when Jay Z cheated on her. Uh, I know, uh, you know, the, a lot of the red guys in the people's space are like, oh, but. You know, um, you know, men can go around and cheat, and I mean, yeah, subjective. It depends, but <laughs> yeah, but um, I, the mo I think the most part, uh, polygamy is is the better, better, better option. But yeah. then again, who am I to say? Who am I to judge the uh, thing, the relationship choices of other individuals? That's not my place to talk. But I would definitely say that. You know, loneliness is a given. So I feared loneliness for a while, which I shouldn't. Like, you know, you're going to feel loneliness at some point, a point in your life anyway. You might as well just get it done and dusted here or get used to it done in, uh, right now, right here. And then after a while, you you thrive in the loneliness and you still are able to, you know, get your work done and do what you need to do within the, within the loneliness. You know what I'm saying, guys? I feared loneliness. I feared the fact that, you know, when I am a millionaire, this is a very rational fear, in my opinion, when I'm a millionaire and I make millionaire friends, I mean, talk about, you know, making millions all day, would I even re resonate with these people? And I thought to myself, oh, maybe I should still be friends with the people that I'm currently friends with because, you know... <sighs> Uh, something, something. My brain was like, "Oh yeah, but because like they understand me for me right now." But then again, like the me right now is not the person I want to be in the future. So what's going on here? What's going on here? I don't, I, I don't know myself. The person you are right now isn't the person you want to be. So a logical conclusion is, which is kind of sad to say, but it is. It is kind of like a semi-logical conclusion, but. You gotta be a lone wolf for a while. You gotta go away for a while. You, you know them disappearing for one year of videos. You disappear for a while. You come back a completely revamped, changed individual, and you blow everyone out of the water. I think that's the only real, like, how do I say this? Only real method of of radical change. I think, and I and I see these these other like these other, these other like soy boy. I, I'm I'm be dead honest with you, soy boy YouTubers. I don't know. I don't know why you they're fucking allowed to make YouTube videos they're like rough or like some other guys. They're like what I what disappearing for a year actually looks like, and he's like some little Asian kid with a mask on, and like I just thought to myself like yeah you're Asian and what are you do what are you trying to do like represent Asian Asian guys in some room space? You're not fucking doing it uh, well because you're, you're a geek. Like, you're just crying all around, like, I disappeared for a year, now it's so sad and lonely, uh. Like, what the fuck? Of course it's sad and lonely, that's the whole fucking shtick, that's the whole point. How much work did you do? How much money did you make? How much gains did you make in the gym? How, how much better do you look? How much happier do you feel? How much more fulfilled are you? Like, important questions like these are left unanswered because these individuals are so feminine thinking, so feminine minds, um... It's not even a feminine mind, that's an insult to women these days, because a lot of women these days are like very, very, uh, how do I say this, religious and egregious on their self-improvement journey. It, it, this, this bitch, this bitch boy, I mean, it's not, I can't even say bitch as well, because that's an insult to the dogs, because dogs are actually useful. Like, they're like, they're like, 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 rat, not even like rats, because rats can reproduce well, and then, you know, rats are actually semi-cute and useful. Like, if I even describe any of the uh, thing, <laughs> if I even, like, use an adjective to describe any of these individuals, it wouldn't even work, because these individuals are so pathetic. Like, it would be an insult to the, the description of the adjective. You guys understand my drift. Like, I can't even call them a rat, because that'd be an insult to rats. I can't call them a bitch, because it's an insult to uh, female dogs. I couldn't call, can't call them feminine, because that's an insult to women. Like, that's how stupid and idiotic and, how do I say this, backwards thinking these individuals are. Like, you are going to have to suffer. You're going to have to struggle and you're going to have to struggle for a very, very long time. And you can have to do it alone. You have a brother, you have a, maybe you have like a group of brothers. It, perfect. 
You, if they, if you guys see eye to eye, you get to work together. If you don't see eye to eye, which is the majority of sibling relationships, then bro, fuck it, you're gonna have to be alone, and you, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to grind. I pushed everyone away. I'm better off, in my opinion. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Like in, I'm boom like that, just like just like this. I'm 14 again, and like I have the same exact brain I have as I have right now. I'm, but I have four years. I would be reading books again probably. I'll probably be starting more, more businesses. I'll probably be grinding school quicker. I could probably, you know, complete more GCSEs quicker. I would just speed run life. And like, I would just like, I would, I would take life so seriously at that time because I know by the time I reach my shoes now at 18, 19, 20, I would be in a such good, uh, such, I would be in such a good position. Like it would be hard not to be grateful for my previous self. And I would be so grateful for not doing this dumb shit. Like I, I think about all the time, like what if I didn't spend my time playing Roblox and you know, Apex Legends and the thing, like I said previously uh, earlier on in the video. Yeah, what if I didn't do it? Yeah, I'd be just being in a bad position. It's because of idiotic things like uh, FOMO and the fact that human, like I can't, I couldn't just define my basic programming at the time, which, which is, you know, humans are social creatures. We, we have to be social, right? Wrong. And the modern day, like we can create our thoughts, we can create our ability to, how do I say this? No, no, no. We can create, I, I was going to say like, we can create our, this, this, doesn't, this doesn't make sense when I say it, when I want to say, I say, it doesn't make sense when I say it in my head, but I'll say it in a thing in real life, so maybe it makes sense. We can create our ability to have a positive outlook on life. We can create, create our ability, curate, not cu curate. Curate, like C-U-R-A-T-E. We can create our ability to have a better outlook on life instead of just, you know, just playing video games. I'm, I think about this often as well, like, I felt so lonely and, you know, depressed and sad and unfulfilled and oh, I was fat and I, I brain frog, everything, everything was shit. To be frank, to be fair. To be frank, not to be fair. And this was because of the people that I surrounded myself with and the choices that I made at the time. And the fact that I was I, I was just a bundle of, of, of just FOMO and just insecurity. Like disappearing for a year, coming back after just hard graft is the best thing you can do as a young man. The best thing, straight up. I don't know about women because I'm not a woman. A woman are usually seeking the op more opposite of things or, or that men, the men want. But I don't know, in the modern day women are in the gym as well and making money as well. I don't know, I'm not sure. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know. I don't know why I'm yawning. This is my bedtime. It's 5 p.m. It's usually my bedtime at 5 to 7. But I'm still awake because I need. I have more work to do. Like this video, for example. Um, yeah. I, this is the best thing you can do. Pushing everyone away. It might feel lonely at the time when you do push everyone away. I'll be that honest with you. If it, listen, listen. If it was lonely right now, okay, the loneliness that you feel at this very very moment. And the only thing you probably fear that you will feel in the future will happen anyway. It's like growing up. Instead of fearing growing up, in which I do fear growing up as well, accept your fear, learn to mold your fear into a fire in which it can be used, it can be, it can be used as a tool, and move on. And just, how do I say this, crack on with what you need to do. Classic British phrase, right? crack on mate, crack on mate, I just cracked on lad. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you will benefit nothing. Absolutely and utterly nothing from just dilly dallying, from being a dosser, from procrastinating, from pondering, and just you know escaping. Like I think about, I thought about it probably like five times today. Like watching like on my on my feed when I was taking a break, I just watched like during my twenty minute break, I just watched like an Apex Legends video of Fade. I think to myself like, wow, Fade's playing Octane. Wow, I really, I I, I used to be really good at Octane. I used to get like three thousand games, three thousand damage games like nonstop. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. So and then I just thought to myself like. Wait a minute. Let's think about all the other games where I was just sucking massive bollocks at the game. I was just like, I was just such a fanny at the game. I was horrible. Let's think about those games. Let's think about the games like where I did bad. Yeah. Let's think about the bad times. In which I can, weirdly enough, remember extremely, extremely well. Because they're very, very, how do I say this? Not repugnant. They're very memorable in my mind. Incredibly memorable in my mind. Because like I can like when I when I when I perform bad at a game I feel extremely bad like and I get extremely angry as well. Same thing with the friends guys. Don't look on all the good times like oh yeah but all the good times the good times will probably seldom come. 
the amount of time you probably laughed and had fun, they're probably like, it's probably slim to the amount of probably like you argued and, you know, you're just, you're on your phone and you're watching TikTok and they're on their phone watching TikTok and then like, they're, talk, they're just chatting all about fucking waffle, they're always waffling and chatting waff, they're just talking bullshit. The, the, the percentage of time that you have that is good, is good with them is probably lower than the percentage of time you have bad with them. You probably have more times that you're like arguing about bullshit, talking about bullshit, you know, like it's just bullshit in general. Like, you're, you're watching Jake Paul video or Jake Paul, it's, like, it's just gossip. You're like most guys gossip these days. It's a very, very feminine trait. Um, it's, it's honestly weird if I can't even use feminine because a lot, I don't know, I'm not, I just, yeah, it's, it's insult. I, how, do, how, do I, how do I say this? It's just, do I say backwards thinking? Do I say um, idiotic? Do I say moronic? I don't know. I'm not sure. Ooh, sorry about that. Jesus. Oh, extremely tired. I pushed everyone away. Let, let, let's, let's wrap up the video here. I pushed everyone away. I'll do it again. I do feel extremely lonely at times. Sure. I do get extreme FOMO at times. Sure. But I've come to accept that this is just a natural part of human, human thinking. And with extreme success requires extreme sacrifice. I can't become a millionaire and I can't become successful in whatever field I want to pursue if I'm, you know, dilly dallying on Apex Legends. Just, you know, playing Apex, just re queuing mindlessly. What if I'm just like fucking grinding Dungeon Quest or Soul Burst 2 in Roblox? If I'm playing like the World War 2 game that I talked about before, like Guts and Black, pow Black Powder or something like that. Roblox, I can't become a millionaire because then my priorities and my focus is diluted. It isn't refined and focused uh, refined and how do I say this not focused um, my focus isn't refined and pinpoint it's kind of like a mess like a not, not like a not like a river but more so like a splash of of ice cold water on LeBron James and him screaming everywhere that's 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 that is the way I see it, guys, and that's the way it's gonna have to be. This video started very sad and lonely, and like you know, like how do I say this? Kind of annoying and very a bit a bitch bitch like. Um, and yeah, that that honestly, that I think that's the best the best thing because that shows you. Th this video shows you the how do I say this? Not the parallels per se. I don't know. The parallels is, is a good word to describe it, but. Um, I could say the the, the juxtaposition. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's a that's a tongue twister. The juxtaposition of modern men. Oh wow, my my time went off. Amazing. Now, now I can get, now I can take a break. I'm not going to though. I need to finish this dumbass video. It, it shows the juxtaposition of, of man in the modern day. Like most men are just bitches, and like if you hear yourself being a bitch, like I, I like this is the best part of recording videos. I just record. I just talk to my phone in like the the mic mic microphone app. And I, and when I when I make the video and I hear myself being a bitch, um, when I'm editing it, I'm like fucking hell, like shut the fuck up. Like I I hope I I wish a lot of these black pill YouTubers and these like soy boy self improvement, not even self improvement, just like uh, just bitches of like these husk halves of men, little boys. I would definitely say I hope these little boys, little boys self improvement YouTubers and these black pill YouTubers they just list themselves. Like, just, like, ramble on about just stupid, idiotic shit. And just hear themselves being such a soy boy. And after that, they realize, like, holy shit, like, I'm, I'm being such a soy boy. I need to fix up. Because if they did, a, a lot of their problems would be mitigated. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, what what was that advice again I hear so often? The best advice you could possibly give, um... The best advice you could possibly get is, is the advice that you can give to a person in the same exact position as yourself. I'll repeat that again slower. The best advice that you could possibly give is to a person in the same exact position as yourself. It's that simple. And the, the advice I would give to myself, and I'll still give to my now uh, uh, thing to me now is, bro, fuck the friends, fuck the partying, fuck the socializing, fuck the, the drinks, fuck the bars, fuck the 40 tonight lads, fuck all the, the all instant gratification, fuck all of that shit. That is such bullshit. The soccer, the football, American football. I don't know what you, I got all American viewers as well. Fuck all of it. Fuck the clubs. Everything. Just just like just destroy in real time. Push everyone away. It's going to be lonely. It's going to be ostracizing. Anyone in a position of success 
didn't do it with like holding their friends' hands. No, they did it with periods of extreme, uh, meticulous focus. I don't know. How do I do this? Monastic. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Meticulous, monastic focus for an ex extreme period of time. That's, that, that's anyone. Becomes the MJ DeMarco, the author of The Millionaire Fastlane. James Clear, you know, the author of Atomic Habits. Tim Ferriss, the author of uh, thing, The 4-Hour Workweek. Any of these individuals can uh, like, testify that they had periods of extremely unhealthy, man uh, peri uh, periods of extremely unhealthy, uh, monastic focused work, and that's gonna it's gonna be it's, it's gonna have to be you. Like I heard myself being a bitch, and I was like, yeah, fuck that shit. I'm gonna go back to work. Lonely, fuck that shit. I need I got work to do. I pushed everyone. I have no friends. Fuck that shit. I got work to do. That's the exact mindset that I'm trying to push onto you as well because, like, the ideology that doesn't benefit you is an, a useless ideology. Sitting around and crying, like rough or any of these better ideas, my mother fluffers, it isn't going to benefit you. The, the ideology that will benefit you is that, yeah, I need to get back to work. That's the ideology, the ideology that's going to benefit you ten, uh, nine, nine times out of ten. Be better or be better. Be bitter or be better. Jesus Christ. Be bitter or be bitter. <sighs> be bitter or be better. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Leave me your good diamond, your car.